This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that the army game is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Jeffrey Palmer played the character Soldier in the sitcom when he was 32 in 1959. Sadly, on November 5, 2020, he left us due to a brief illness at 93 in Lee Common, Buckinghamshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Yeah. He's not wearing a Macintosh. Pity. Looks like rain. Me. Um, so uh, they've brought out cassettes again. Terrific. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a great idea. I didn't really know it was going to take off when I was asked whether it would really work. Alfie Bass played the character Private Bootsy Bisley in the sitcom when he was 41 in 1957. Sadly, on July 16, 1987, he left us due to heart attack at 71 in Barney, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Oh, come on, open the door. Where's the key? The key, come on, man. Oh, right. Uh, now, I know it's somewhere, the key. Well, oh, come on. Uh, you don't really want to shower, do you, sir? Because you don't look like you want one, you don't. She ain't bad, you know. She's got a fair little figure. Not my type, of course, but still. Anyway, she brings this bloke home and introduces him to the kids as Uncle Bill. I bet... Harry Toe played the character Cass Dooley in the sitcom when he was 34 in 1959. Sadly, on July 24th, 2009, he left us due to complications from cancer at 83 in England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. I have to wait here for someone. It'll be too, too late then. One Brinstead now. The pirate. Do call me Lottie. Oh, Lottie. L Lottie. And you must excuse us, my dear. We have a very important business deal to discuss. Harry Fowler played the character Corporal Flocker Hoskins in the sitcom when he was 33 in 1959. Sadly, on January 4th, 2012, he left us due to natural causes at 85 in England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. I told you to see that they do the job proper. And I don't you worry, sir. I might even start a couple of fires myself just to keep them on their toes. Good. What? Uh, small ones, of course. Fruit. Deliciously different. They are McVitie's. I could shift a lot of these. Where'd you nick them? Nick them? Norman Rossington played the character Private Cupcake Cook in the sitcom when he was 29 in 1959. Sadly, on May 21st, 1999, he left us due to cancer at the age of 70 in Manchester, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Be a big fat lady. I loved her being a big fat lady. Well, maybe not loved her, but I was used to her being a big fat lady. Frank Williams played the character Captain T.R. Pocket in a sitcom when he was 26 in 1957. Sadly, on June 26, 2022, he left us due to illness at 90 years old in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. They accused of a monstrous crime. Oh, bless you, sir. By the way, Bisley, you didn't murder Mr. Stanch, did you? Well, I said not. No, no, of course you didn't. Um, Major Price. You, uh, I think this is really down to me to a large extent, because I'm beginning to have some mobility problems. And it, when we did the last... Bernard Breslau played the character Private Popeye Popper Well in the sitcom when he was 23 in 1957. Sadly, on June 11, 1993, he left us from a sudden heart attack at 59. In Wagon Spark, London, England, we are deeply saddened by his passing. The behind the scenes times. Well, yes, I, one particular moment when I went, as it were, full frontal in Carry On Dip. <laughs> I said to. <laughs> Jeffrey Sumner played the character Major Upshot Beckley in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1957. Sadly, on September 29, 1989, he left us due to cancer at 80 years old in Alderney, Channel Islands, where he'd be saddened by his passing.
Bill Fraser played the character C.S.M. Klaus Nudge in the sitcom when he was 51 in 1959. Sadly, on September 9, 1987, he left us with emphysema at 79 in Bushy, Hertfordshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Son, Bisley would clean his boots, brush his beret, and press his blouse. For these humble services, William Hartnell played the character CSM Percy Bully Moore in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1957. Sadly, on April 23, 1975, he left us due to illness at 67 in modern Kent, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. But I'm not that type of actor. This is your debut in pantomime. Do you see your future in pantomime? No. No. Why not? No. Ted Loon played the character Private Land Bone in the sitcom when he was 39 in 1959. Sadly, on January 7, 1968, he left us due to illness at 48 in South Sea, UK. We are deeply saddened by his passing. It's your death. Yeah, come off it. You, that's known me all these years, and I've come to you because you were a friend. <laughs> you don't know me name, but this stranger that just called me in does. Marjorie Rose played the character Mrs. Nudge in the sitcom when she was 61 in 1958. Sadly, on July 4th, 1979, she left us of natural causes at 82 in Hove, Sussex, England. We're deeply saddened by her passing. Would you say there was anything odd or queer about a fellow that went on his honeymoon and took his pal with him? Another man? Mario Fabrizi played the character Lieutenant Moosh Merriweather in the sitcom when he was 35 in 1959. Sadly, on April 5, 1963, he left us due to illness at 39 in East End, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. He's right, sir. If you stand by the window, the public bar, the pig and whistle, you can see the all of our eggs. Ooh! Call me with us, sir. Ooh. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in the army game? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.